My name's Thomas Sever. Uh, Harry Williams. And I'm Nigel Farage. What's your view on apprenticeships? Do you know, I think we're sending too many youngsters to university. Uh, when I left school 30 years ago, 12% went to university. Uh, now it's 44%. My target is 50%. Now, if you're academic, then university is the right route for you. But if you're not academic, you're coming out with a weak degree, debt round your neck, and no advance in, in the workplace. And I think a lot of people from the age of 16 onwards should be learning trades and skills. We have a huge skill shortage in this country because we're teaching too many people ologies that aren't doing them any good in the real world. Uh, what's your uh, view on making education more relevant, especially uh, within the workplace in terms of business studies curriculum, and do you think entrepreneurship should be taught to everybody? I'm not sure you can teach entrepreneurship. I think it's either within the person um, or it isn't. But what you can do um, is to encourage people to think in that direction. And my feeling is, and, and this part of Yorkshire may not be the worst, but go to the inner cities where an awful lot of youngsters whose parents can't afford for them to go to private schools are going to comprehensives right. that are frankly not much better than uh, remand schools. Uh, there are all sorts of linguistic diversity and problems and we are letting down hundreds of thousands of young people every year and it links back a little bit to the first question that a lot of people should be learning trades and skills and with those trades and skills they then set up their own businesses mm -hmm. and then they become entrepreneurs mm -hmm. you know if, if 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 that's what suits their personality so i think the education system is really failing a generation mm -hmm. i'm afraid sad but it's true why should young people vote for ukip because we believe in liberty and freedom and governing ourselves and we're against the rotten status quo of boring old men that have been appointed to positions in Brussels, nearly all of them failures in their own domestic politics. That's the first reason that we are the progressive party of the future. We want democracy, we want liberty, we want the ability to govern our own country. Second reason is that to my parents' generation, Europe seemed quite a big exciting place. In those days people didn't travel very much. Um, and now Europe is in fact a little boring backyard. No one goes to Frankfurt on their gap year. You know, they go to the Andes or they go to Singapore or whatever it is. Um, and the UKIP message is we disengage politically with Europe but maintain friendship and trade. And we re-engage with the West, rest of the world and we pursue a global future for Britain, not just a little European one. And I think to young people with cheap travel, with you know, iPhones, internet, and with the global perspective that young people have, I think that's a very attractive proposition. Um, what is uh, UKIP's position on uh, university tuition fees? With well, <laughs> if we weren't sending so many people, we wouldn't need to charge as much, would we? I mean, if we got back to a sensible level um, of sending people to university, uh, we, could reduce the, we, we could reduce the tuition fees down to virtually nothing. So let's send fewer people to pursue academic skills until we're 21, 22, um, and let's not effectively uh, you know, discriminate uh, against some people who frankly, um, in many cases, should be going but can't afford to go. So, I mean, it, it, it's all the wrong way around, in my opinion. How would UKIP help small businesses? By deregulating, by getting off their backs the excesses of environmental, health and safety and employment legislation, and I feel very strongly on the third one. You know, I talk to small companies and I say, you know, will you, take, will you take on a school leaver? They say, forget it. You know, if after a year the business has a downturn or the person proves to be no good, we have to get rid of them. We can't afford the legal fees. We don't want the industrial tribunal. And if we were to deregulate small businesses uh, and to launch a scheme that I would call give a youngster a chance, if just one in four small businesses took on a school leaver and gave them an opportunity, knowing that if they wanted to get rid of them, there weren't going to be severe financial penalties, we'd wipe out youth unemployment. All right? Very good. Okay.